Hello guys, today let us look at the problem of finding out the sum of diagonals for a binary tree. So first let us define what is a diagonal for a binary tree. Imagine lines of slope minus 1 drawn such that they cut through the left branches of this tree. So these are the left branches and let us draw the lines of slope minus 1. As you can see, the tree is now divided into three partitions. First partition has 1, 3, 6 as the nodes. Second partition has 2, 5, 7 as, as its nodes. And last partition has 4 and 8. So we call this as diagonal 0, this as diagonal 1, and this as diagonal 2. So the problem is to find out the sums for each diagonal. Our subroutine should return sums as uh, 10 for diagonal 0, 14 for diagonal 1 and 12 for diagonal 2. Let's now look at the approach to solve this problem. So this is the tree that I have just shown in the previous slide. The main idea that we are going to use is to, is to do the in order traversal for the computation with slight modification. By in order traversal I mean First compute the diagonal sum for the left subtree, then add the root nodes value to the current diagonal sum and finally do the computation for the right subtree. So the slight modification that I mentioned was we'll keep track of the diagonal that root uh, that the node is in at each node. So the node 1 is at diagonal 0, we'll keep track of that, then node 2 is at diagonal 1 node 4 is at diagonal 2 and so on. So this is the subroutine we are going to use for the computation. It takes arguments as root, then current diagonal the root is in and the diagonal sum. We'll be using this for storing the result, storing the result. So this call takes care to do the computation for the left subtree. Note that we are passing the argument as current diagonal plus 1 because the left child of the root is in the diagonal plus 1 level then this portion takes care to add the roots value, root nodes value to the current diagonal and finally we do the computation for the right subtree where the current diagonal passed is the same because right child of the root is also in the same diagonal. Let's now try and go through the complete call sequence to get the more clear picture. While unfolding these recursive calls, we'll keep track of root value, then current diagonal value, then line number from where the call was recursive call was made, and diagonal sum. Okay. So first call is made with root as 1, diagonal sum as current diagonal as 0. In the first call, it makes a recursive call at line number 2. It makes a recursive call at line number 2. Root becomes 2. Current diagonal becomes current diagonal plus 1. So 1. When, the, when root is 2 and current diagonal is 1, again at line number 2, recursive call is made. Line number 2, recursive call is made. So the root is updated to 4 current diagonal is updated to 2 at 4 at root is equal to 4 it again makes a recursive call from line number 2 where the root becomes null current diagonal becomes 3 note that root is null so early return call is made from line number 1 for this call stack so returned here now the main computation is done because execution resumes after line number 2 so in line number 3 4 and 5 it's made sure that the roots value 4 value is added to the current diagonal so current diagonal is 2 and value of 4 is added value of 4 is added and at line number 6 it again makes a recursive call so I'll update line number to 6 and recursive, with recursive call the root is updated to root is updated to null because root dot write 4 dot write is null current diagonal remains 2 
because root is null the call is returned from the line number one itself so call is returned here at four and after line number six there is nothing to execute so the call from root four is also returned where uh, the root was two so execution will now resume after line number two i'll use the eraser for better space utilization because this everything from here is returned and value 4 is already added to diagonal sum this i'm erasing execution is now resumed execution is resumed from line number 3 so line number 3 4 5 make sure that value of 2 is added to current diagonal current diagonal was 1 value is value 2 is added right so again at line 6 so i'll rub this at line 6 it makes a recursive call to root dot right and current diagonal so root dot right for 2 is 5 5 so root is updated to 5 current diagonal remains same 1 and at 5 so we again resume call stack for root is equal to 5 now note that at line 2 it makes a recursive call with root dot left so 5 is left is 8 current diagonal becomes 2 and it made a recursive call from line number 2 so I have updated line number for this one is 2 okay so uh, for 8 there is nothing on the left so though from line number 2 it makes a call it's a null here so it returns so value of 8 again in 3 4 5 is added to current diagonal so current diagonal was 2 value 8 is added value 8 is added and uh, execution it makes a recursive call from line number 6 from line number 6 when it makes a recursive call again there is nothing on the right so though the uh, root becomes null it it's returned and complete call sequence for 8 is also done so it returns here let's use the eraser again okay okay and execution for root 5 is resumed after line 2 and uh, once the execution is resumed uh, here the value of 5 is added to the current diagonal which is 1 so we add 5 and make a right uh, at line 6 at line 6 it makes a recursive call wherein root dot right was null current diagonal becomes 2 because it's null we do a return we do a return at line 6 after line 6 there is nothing to execute so it also returns at 2 let's use the eraser cool so value 5 is also added at 2 when the execution resumes note that we were at line 6 when the recursive call was made so there is nothing to execute at 2, 2 also so it returns at 1 let's use the eraser it returns at 1 and execution resumes at line number 2 so after line 2 note that 3 4 5 make sure that value of 1 is added to current diagonal so 0 was not there in the current diagonal sum so we add 0 and value of root 1 is added right and a recursive call from the line 6 is made where the root is now updated to 3 current diagonal remains 0 now again this recursive uh, procedure is repeated there is nothing on the left so we just ignore that portion there is nothing on the left then uh, once the left subtree computation is done value of 3 is added to current diagonal so current diagonal 3 is added and from line number 6 from line number 6 it makes a recursive call which results in root becoming 6 root becoming 6 current diagonal becoming uh, remaining 0 okay 
so we are now at root 6 root 6 current diagonal as 0 at line number 2 at line number 2 it makes a recursive call right uh, with uh, root dot left so root is updated to 7 current diagonal is updated to 1 and there is nothing on the left so uh, let's ignore that and add the value of 7 then line 3 4 5 add the value of 7 to current diagonal so 1 value of 7 is added 7 is added and there is nothing to the right so this uh, root dot right call is also going to do nothing so uh, this will be returned here let's use the eraser because everything is done for this subtree and execution resumes after line number 2 for root is equal to 6 so after line number 2 if you recall the value of uh, 6 is added because of 3 4 5 statements value of 6 is added to current diagonal so let's add 6 here in this bucket and uh, there is nothing to the right though the recursive call is made at line number 6 there is nothing to the right so it is eventually going to return so this is going to return at 3 eraser everything is done here when it's returned at 3 execution resumes for root is equal to 3 but after line 6 there is nothing for 3 also so this is returned here this is returned here and eraser so uh, with root 1 current diagonal 0 and line 6 there is nothing to execute after this point so this is also completed sorry for that let me use the eraser this is also completed and we are actually done with the computation because initial call with root is equal to 1 uh, and uh, current diagonal is equal to 0 has reached this point so at the end of the uh, this subroutine call we have sum as 10 for current diagonal as 2 uh, diagonal 2 uh, sorry 12 sum as 12 then for diagonal 1 the sum is 7 plus 5 12 plus 2 14 which is right 7 plus 5 plus 2 and for 0 1 3 6 are added 1 3 6 are added note that in this computation every node is every node is visit, visited exactly once so the uh, time complexity for this is order of n and this is time complexity and space complexity for this is order of n worst case imagine a tree like uh, only like a tree like let's say 1 2 and 4 so for this kind of tree the space complexity would also be order of n that's why i said order of n space complexity so uh, I hope this was clear. Thank you.